Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This, um, I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to do a video response to Luna, Luna Trisha Scura. Um, she's actually very new to YouTube, or she had a channel for a while, and I think she's just now going to start um, really putting herself out there on YouTube. So if you are not following her, um, search her, Luna Trish Ascura, O-S-C-U-R-A. Um, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful, amazing reader. I follow her on Instagram. Um, we talk um, in chat every once in a while. And um, she's just a really, really really fascinating woman um and we have a lot of things in common we um we just it's it, we just click so <laughs> and i really enjoy her especially i keep thinking i have my glasses on i really enjoy her even as a reader um she's read for me and she's just really really um honest and truthful and blunt and right to the point so if you are looking for a reader who is into you know who's like who's gonna kind of give you like that really solid advice um she's the one you want to check out because she's very honest with her readings and she will tell it like it is so just like basically we you know we're all like that in a way but um some readers are more straightforward than others. Um, and that's really what, you know, the character creates who and how they are and how they read, which is the whole point of this video response is um, because she put out um, a video talking about what kind of a reader she is. And I was thinking, you know what, I want to do that too. So I'm doing a response to her saying, sharing who I am, um, and talking a little bit about what kind of a reader I am because I do feel it's been a long time coming since I've really, you know, did anything like that. I don't, honestly, I don't even think I've ever done a video where I talk about what kind of readings I do, how, what kind of a reader I am. Do I consider myself a psychic? Do I, you know, so I thought, you know, why not do that? So that's what this is going to be about. <laughs> um, so my name is Rose and I am um, the creator of The Cackling Moon. The Cackling Moon is my online tarot business um, and will soon be an actual land business. I mean, I don't even know what you call it. Um, as soon as we get our home, I plan on having classes, and sessions, so private like one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients in um, a vicinity where I feel comfortable, whether that is, you know, in my home or um, in an office. But the Cackling Moon will definitely be somewhere that we can actually go to meet up and do services. So, but for now, Cackling Moon can be found online. She, me, <laughs> we um, are on Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. Um, I would say that the social medias that I'm usually on all the time is Instagram. I am starting to Twitter, so I'm starting to tweet or however you say it. <laughs> um, Twitter is more like my um, guilty pleasure for just kind of putting out meaningless rants and whatever is going on in my life and what I'm doing, what I'm up to. Facebook, I'm starting to create that talk tarot with me group and all of that. So I'm starting to like get more comfortable with the Facebook groups and just Facebook in general. Um, but Instagram is mostly my, my thing. Um, and then Tumblr, I was on it a lot. I was very obsessed with it. Um, but I am not too fond of the, just some of the people that use Tumblr. Um, the tarot community on there is, it's either good or it's bad, or it's just like, it's not all there, or there's a lot going on. Um, I really pulled back from that social media but I am still on there for some people who do like to communicate with me through Tumblr. 
Um, but Instagram is probably the number one right now. <laughs> so anyways, um, the cackling moon is me. And basically, I think of myself as the kind of tarot reader that likes to tap into. I do, I do like love readings, past life, um, the future insights. So I do think of myself as a... I mean, I'm, I, I would say like an all-around tarot reader. I think that the image that I wanted to put for myself is like... <laughs> like those that mystical um magical mystical high priestess vibe um but i would say the type of reader i would like to look at myself as is a reader of guidance a reader for healing i love readings that have to do with building someone up from the ground up i love helping my clients who are in some of their most tragic um, times in their life, whether that is they are fresh out of a marriage, they are in a breakup, they are healing from the past, they are tapping into childhood wounds, they are healing from leaving one career path to another. I really love the clients who are in that transition phase. Um, and I feel like a huge audience and a huge client base that I do have right now are people who are still searching. People, I talk a lot with my hands, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> people who are searching, people who are, they're just on the journey right now. So if you are on the journey, if you're searching, you're hunting, you are healing, you are going through the hardest time in your life, I um, tend to attract those types of, of clients, I've noticed, and I love it because I came from, my whole tarot business came from my own personal journey of healing. So I feel like that's, that's how I attract those types of clients because I went through the healing journey and I found tarot and tarot was a tool for me to heal, it helped me. It still is helping me. Um, so it just makes sense that I would attract those same type of clients. Those people um, feel like they could trust me and they can talk to me and share their heart with me. Um, and I really treasure that because I didn't have anyone to turn to when I was healing and when I was going through a lot, whether it was when I was a, a young girl to a woman um, dealing with certain things. It was very a very lonely journey for me. Um, but as I've progressed in this tarot community, I have met some amazing people. So <laughs> I would like to think of myself as the type of reader that um, I help other people who are in that healing process as well. Now, I also focus on love. I love doing love readings. I love love readings. <laughs> I love to read for um, couples, so I've done a lot of those where I had, um, I've done in-person readings for couples where um, the boyfriend and girlfriend or the boyfriend and boyfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend, whoever, um, are with me in person and we read for, you know, both of them. Um, I've done a lot of couple readings online and I would say the majority of my, um, my questions surround love and I love it. I think it's one of the topics that I'm really comfortable <clears throat> with reading because love has always been that one thing in my life, in my personal life, um, that was easy for me to obtain. Um, I've been in multiple long distance relationships, long term relationships. Um, I've been in many relationships and different types of relationships. And I feel like all of that experience allows me to um, relate to a lot of what other people are going through. Um, <clears throat> so, and then I'm married now. Now I'm married and I've been with the same person for 10 years. So it's just, I feel like I, 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 I am so confident with love. Um, and the topic of love and relationships and advice and all of that, 
to help others. And I think that people really sense that about me. And so that is also another reason why um, a good portion of my reading requests revolve around um, love. <laughs> now, um, I do every once in a while get readings about um, career paths. Um, the career path reading I will do for people, and I'm going to be honest, um, it is not one of my favorites to read about. And I think that that is mainly because um, my own career path was the one path that I struggled with the most. Um, I struggled with not knowing what to do with my life for a long time. I struggled with um, switching up my career path multiple times. So I think that that's another reason why I relate to people who are on that journey <laughs> because I was on that too. Um, but if someone comes to me for advice about their online business or their tarot reading journey or putting together a you know an online shop that kind of stuff um, I'm very confident with giving advice like that I'm very confident with giving advice um, that has to do with um, walking away from one path and going off on a tangent with another path I'm totally into that but when it comes to reading for people about career topics that I'm not familiar with, that's where I get a little nervous. So, and I'll let my clients know if I'm, you know, faced with a question that I don't feel comfortable with or, or whatnot, I'll let them know. But for the most part, the majority of my readings revolve around love. They revolve around healing and the path, the journey, the spiritual journey, the, the love path, the future. Um, which also brings me to the third thing that I read constantly for is predictions. Um, now I don't, I'm not saying like I'm magical and I know everything cause I don't, <laughs> but I am comfortable enough with my reading style to do predictions. And when I'm saying predictions, I'm talking about, um, if I'm doing a love reading to predict when someone will step into someone's life. Um, or a prediction on, um, you know, the turnout of something or a time frame. So I guess more like timeline predictions, but I always stress to my clients that everything is subject to change based on your present actions. And that goes for any future reading or any future advice that I give. Anything can change based on what you choose to do right now in the future. I mean, in the present. <laughs> So, um, but I'm 100% comfortable with prediction readings. Um, I've been told by many clients of mine that my predictions have happened, that they have come through. Um, I've had clients who I read for and then didn't hear from them for a year or so, and then they'll come back to remind me about a reading that I did for them and to tell me that it came through. Um, and it's always like, wow, okay, that's so cool. Um, but I think anyone, any reader can do a prediction reading. It just, it just comes with trusting your intuition and trusting your cards and what you're receiving from that message. Um, so those are the top three I would say that I do that's as, as far as a type of reader that I am, um, love readings, healings, and predictions. Um, I don't do like anything legal related. I don't do anything like that. I don't do any health related readings except for my energy readings where um, I tap into my client's energy by meditating on their photo and just meditating on their, their energy. I connect and I do an energy reading. So I'll basically share with them what I'm seeing around them, um, their aura, their energy points, their chakras. Um, and anything that comes up, whether it's spirit that's around them or an angel or whatever, um, I think of those as spiritual health readings. So I'll, you know, I do those. But as far as um, reading for someone's illness and, and diagnosing, I don't do that. I'm not a doctor. Um, I don't do lottery number readings because that's just, if I knew the lottery, I would wouldn't be here doing this right now. <laughs> um, what else? Um, legal, like I said, legal readings. I don't do that. <clears throat> so I have my own, um, like my own limits 
for what I will do. But for the most part, I'm a very fluid, a very open reader. Um, I offer past life reading, so that's another topic I'll tap into as well. I like to tap into the past and read for other lives or experiences that I see come up in the cards. Um, I've done spirit connection readings through the cards. Um, but I would say probably, like I said, the top three um, are the healing readings, the love readings, and the prediction readings, so like the future stuff. Um, that's probably what I mostly tap into for the most part. Um, as far as the way my delivery goes with readings, um, I would say I am a very straightforward person. I wouldn't say I'm super blunt. Um, I like to be that best friend. <laughs> so I like to be with my clients when I'm reading for you, I like to sound like I want to I want to come off as your best friend. I want to come off as your friend, someone that you can trust that you're sitting down having a casual conversation with. That is the the approach that I that I have with my readings, especially the video ones. Um I've had clients tell me that the email ones when I type out my email readings that when they're reading it, um just the tone and the way that I um write <laughs> is like as if I was sitting right there next to them like they get my personality through my writing so I would say um I have like that older sister vibe that mother I've been told I have a very nurturing like mother energy vibe to me to some of my clients who were a lot younger um or like I said I want to I would just want to be like that casual friends that we're sipping some wine and we're talking about your life you know <laughs> um that's the approach that I have with my readings that's the, the general energy that I like to bring now do I get very blunt and straightforward yes I have um some of my clients require that kind of energy in their readings yes um some clients need to be more I need to be more straightforward with them where other clients um i could feel that their energy is more soft um so a more subtle light calm approach is necessary sometimes you guys will notice it too in my video readings um the tone of my voice the way that i'm expressing in a reading might differ from another one um that's because i really tap into that client's energy and what they specifically need so I go with that. <laughs> um, what else? Um, okay, and then the tools that I use. So I'm strictly tarot, tarot and oracle, um, and I blend the two. So even though um, you're buying a tarot reading, there will be most likely oracle cards pooled for your reading. Um, so I like to blend the two, but I'm also an intuitive. So um, the cards are my tools, but my intuition is is ingrained. It's in me. Um, if I hear a message from spirit, which doesn't always happen for every client, but if I do hear a message from spirit, it will come through and I will express it. Um, if I see something or if I hear or feel or whatever, I will express it in the reading because that is a message that is meant for that client. Um, if I'm doing a specific reading, which is like a specific energy reading, a channeled reading, um, usually I won't pull cards. I will sit in meditation and I don't film that part because um, who wants to film me just sitting with my eyes closed? You know? <laughs> but I'll do that off camera um, if I'm filming it. And um, I write down, so I write notes. And usually it's like automatic writing or I'm just writing what I'm feeling at the time, what, I, what I'm seeing. Um, and then I go through, and literally it's like a conversation. Um, I just go through all the stuff that came up. And we just talk about it, you know? Um, if you read with me in person, it is a conversation. It is not like an interview. It is like I want my clients to feel comfortable around me. I want my clients to feel um, because they are opening up to me and I want them to feel comfortable to be able to do that. So um, I like to just have that energy around me as well. Um, I'm not very ritual with my readings. I'm not that kind of a reader. So if I got to pull cards when I'm out in public, I will pull cards. I don't have to 
cleanse the space and light the candle and this and that. I don't have to do that. But if I want to, I will. Um, so depending on where I'm at, I'm totally fine with pulling cards in the back seat of a car or at the restaurant or at the beach or whatever. Um, I will do it. But I'm also, I love to set the space, especially if I'm in my own room. Um, so I will light the candle. Um, I'll spray or I'll incense, depending on what I feel. I pick the decks that I feel are perfect for that client, unless it's a reading that requires a specific deck. Um, and then I read. So I like to be real like free flow with the way I do things. Um, so I'm not very ritual based. What else? Um, oh, the, the services that I offer. So the kind of services, like the type of reader that I am, I do in-person readings if you are located in Southern California. Um, I do email readings, so I'll type it up and save it as a PDF document for you to download and either print out or read online. Um, I also do video readings where I like this, I record, um, and it's, it's like you're sitting with me, but you're not, <laughs> and I record it and then I, um, send the link of my video to my client to watch. I do snail mail readings, so I will write, handwrite the reading for my client, um, so that they could read it like a letter. They receive it in the mail and they can read it like a little love letter. And what else? Um, oh, I will be starting offering Skype readings. So it will be an appointment that we make where we chat via Skype. So it's just like an in-person reading only. If you're on the other side of the country, we can still do it. <laughs> um, so I do those as well. Very online focused with my readings for the most part. Um, but like I said, if there are clients that want to meet up with me in person, I do. Like I said, I don't have my own personal space just yet that I feel comfortable bringing clients in. So what we usually do is um, I will agree to meet somewhere public with the client um, and do the reading there. So somewhere like public, but that it's still kind of private so we can have our privacy. <laughs> usually like a coffee shop that has, you know, a quiet corner or... Um, I've done readings in a library before, so it just depends. It depends on your comfort and mine, um, but I'll do that too. So, <laughs> but basically, I'm a very, I like to think of myself as just a very casual, fun, conversational type of reader. Um, do I call myself a psychic? Yes, I feel like that is a general term. Um, I call myself an intuitive, I call myself a tarot reader, I call myself spiritual, I call myself mystical, <laughs> whatever, I don't, I don't care. I, ident I identify with all of those terms, um, but when it comes down to it, it's I'm trusting spirit, I am trusting my intuition and my own knowledge of the cards, and I'm delivering the reading for my client based on how spirit wants to deliver it. Um, but yeah. That's basically, I think that's basically it of how or what kind of a reader I am. <laughs> so I just wanted to, you know, put that out there. And this way you guys who are following me or new ones who are following me, um, you know who I am. And you can check me out. If you guys want to check out my online shop, the link will be below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.